Okay guys, this is a quick video for you. Somebody asked the question, how do I install third-party software instruments onto an instrument track in GarageBand? Okay, so this is how you do it. Um, obviously you download the software instrument and you have to run the installer to install it on the Mac. All right, and then you open GarageBand. And let's make a new instrument track. Make a new instrument track, which is this synth on a stand, right? Create. And a new instrument track is created, and by default, it puts the classic electric piano on there. Well, my, my garage band does that, okay? But there's your new instrument track. Now, you select that track and you open the smart controls. And then you open the editor for the smart controls with this I button here, the inspector, like that. Open up the plugins panel, like that, and there's the instrument slot. Now, you just install your software instrument here. So you drop the list down, and your new instrument should be in. AU audio unit instruments here. Now there'll be a couple of Apple ones, maybe. I've got Logic installed, so you might not see these. But I've got here's here's the third party um, since I've got installed on on my Mac. There's an Ovation base station, mono and stereo, and then there's these four Roland plug out software synths: the System One, the SH101, the SH2, and the Pro Mars. Okay, so I'll choose the System One and load it. Boom. And this thing pops up for me because I've these are demos I'm, I'm running. Okay, and there's the synth now installed into the instrument slot on this track. Okay, now um, okay, now the smart control panel will pick up some of the parameters of the synth, of the synth automatically when it loads. Okay, and so you'll see some of these parameters will get set like that. They're just random parameters of the synth. Okay. Um, and that's that, and now it's ready. It's ready to compose with. Now, um, if you want to, after the synth here, where it says audio effects, you can install effects after the synth to change the sound. Just drop the list down, and I've I've got Logic effects included here because I've got Logic installed on this Mac. You won't see as many effects as this for GarageBand, but you add any effects that you want. Like I could add an echo. Like that in the in, in the effect slot after the synth. Okay, so now I've got an echo there. Okay, so if I now open the instrument and play it, there's an echo after it. And I could put any other plugin effects I want after the synth as well. Now, once you've set the synth like this in the instrument slot, and whether or not you've added any effects after it, you can then save this to the library. So from in the future, you can quickly load the synth from the library okay we just we've got the instrument on the instrument slot any effects we want after it we just select that track with the third party instrument on it at the bottom of the library we click save and this pops up this is to save um, a channel strip preset in the default user location so you just give it a title I'll call it SH101 Save, boom, and it's saved now in the library in user patches. There it is, SH101. Just there, look. So what I'll do is on this instrument track, I'll load up a bass. Let's load this finger style bass. Okay, so now there's a, a bass there, a library instrument. Right, I'll just get the musical typing there, like. Okay, but now I don't, if I want to put um, the SH101 instrument on here, I don't have to do that palaver of changing doing the instrument here, what I do is I just have the track selected, go to the library, user patches, I load up the SH-101. And it loads up the SH-101 with any effects that I put on after it. And it's ready to go. Okay, so that's how you do that. And um, I hope that's been useful. And um, I'll see you for the next one, whatever it is.